makes the magic happen and how you, Fergan Elmer, can also make that magic happen. And we're going to do it. They're not there to be embarrassed. They are to experience a Thomas Kincaid painting. They are to walk in and go into another world. And remember, that's what you're selling. You are selling it another world. Disney doesn't call them a customer. They call them a guest. When you go into their park, you are a guest in their park. I would like you to start thinking that when a customer walks through your doors, they are now your guest. Chris seemed to do research on our group, knew what uh, they were about, and really spoke to the group and really kept them on their toes. Chris was excellent, did his homework with Bullet Freight. Fantastic time. And I'm going to introduce three words to you that I would like you to commit to memory. All right, those words are here, think, and learn. All right, and it's really the crux of teamwork. It's the crux of communication and of customer excellence. It's We all know what acronyms are. Uh, there's some, uh, for example, Delta. The acronym for Delta is uh, don't expect luggage to arrive. Very simple, <laughs> kind, of, kind of common. Are you going to know what they are dealing with if you don't answer? If you don't sit and talk to them, if you don't take your heart, open it up and listen to them. And that's just crucial to really find out what it is they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis as they try to sell your product. Because you've got sales rep. Every single doctor out there is a sales rep for you. And you want to make sure you understand everything that's going on and why they may have a problem with selling. One, two, three. What was the card? What was it? The Five of Hearts, ladies and gentlemen, right there on the end of that sword. The Five of Hearts. And then your, your title that the company is? President, so mid-level there. All right, okay. <laughs> a lot of chance for growth there, and okay, all right. And obviously, you're dedicated to the company, a lot of work, but you must have some hobbies uh, uh, when, you, when you're not at work. What, what are some of your hobbies? Golf. Golf, golf, okay, and, and everyone's golfing there. A lot of people are golfing today, I understand. And that was amazing, and we already know Anne's gonna win. <laughs> 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 Mark her down for a four. All right, okay. All right, I tell you what, I'll make it a little more difficult. I will actually prove to you the model has vanished. I snap my fingers, wave my hand. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey, it's got to be gone. Otherwise, Travis would just suck that baby right out of there, don't you think? Yeah. And back again. something that went wrong and turning it into a wow moment. You have to find your own magic out there so that you know the problems you run into. Sales folks, talk about it. That's what this conference is all about. It's about learning how to communicate across company lines, learning to communicate with your clients, and really taking the extra effort to correct problems and making them wow moments. Trust and communication. If you don't have those two, you cannot have a relationship. I just finished listening to Chris as our keynote speaker at the 28th Annual AMA Conference. Very enjoyable, very funny, a wide variety of audience, and it looks like it was well enjoyed by everyone. We'll have him back again and again and again. Thanks a lot, Chris. Chris Blackmore, you are a fantastic company. Go out there and get it done. God bless. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.